Welcome to Strawmaster Bedding Choppers. This is a new innovative product that uh, will help you save time and labor and also cut back on bedding costs with reduced bedding. We have tried to minimize moving parts while keeping efficiency and also the best productivity available. We hope that you find this product to help you on your dairy or other farm application. I'd like to go over a couple of the functional traits and just a few comments on how the mechanics of the whole machine work and walk you through it one step at a time. So the first thing we need to talk about is the hydraulic and the electrical hookup. This machine requires a pressure, a return, and also very importantly a case drain. This allows the bleeding off of the oil between the inner and the outer seal of the high speed motors when they are under load. This case drain does not go through any valves, it just drains directly back into the tank. If your machine does not have a case drain on it, it is very easy to add it after the fact. We also need 12 volt power. The 12 volt needs two wires only a positive and a negative and then you're ready to go. The next step I would like to talk about is the needle valve control hiding on the inside. This valve adjusts your auger speed for the cutting action. It is very important that the valve is set no less than six on your number sequence. The number sequence one is basically stopping the augers and 10 is full speed. So the way the plumbing is set up, we advise not to go any lower than six because it takes away power from your fan. For most purposes, we advise setting it between eight and nine for maximum performance. The next feature I'd like to talk about is the wireless remote system which allows you to have full control over four functions without any wiring harness to worry about in the cab of your skid steer or telehandler or whatever machine that you are using. So the first step is to make sure you hit the red button to power up the handheld device. If you see the green light flashing rapidly, you know that you are connected to the receiver, which is the black box on the machine. From there, you are ready to activate any function. Function number one is your beater set forward. And when you hit the beater set forward one time, the beaters are engaged and they lock on. To shut them off, you hit it again. If for some reason you plug the machine, you will hear the fan slow down. At that time, you can either hit the forward button once or hit the reverse button and that will automatically cut out the forward. That allows you to get your plug up out of the auger set and your fan should resume to maximum speed. And then you can hit the forward again and resume your shredding. Second function is your power end gate to make sure you don't lose any of the bale after you cut the strings. So the one is open and the other is closed. These two functions you have to hold on to the button to activate the function. They will not lock on. Function number three is your 300 degree hood rotate. This allows you to spread out your bedding in your pack to get maximum efficiency. These functions also are hold on, let go and it shuts off. Function number four is your power deflector, which allows you to spread short distances or long distances. These functions also are hold on and let go and it stops. So you have your up and your down.
At this time, we're going to walk through the functions one step at a time. When you engage your hydraulics, the fan will always start running. So function number one, we will see the forward rotation of the auger set. This is the rotation the augers will be taking when you are shredding the bale. Hit the forward again and they stop. In case of plugging or other events, you hit the reverse and hold it. Function number two is the end gate. To load your bale, you open the end gate and then you can scoop into the bale from the end. When you're fully scooped into the bale, you can roll back your implement. And then when the bale is fully seated, you close the end gate before cutting the strings to minimize bale loss. Function number three is the power hood rotate for spreading out the bedding. The 300 degree hood rotate allows you a vi wide range of side to side spreading and also if you're going down a feed alley you can either spread to the right of the machine or to the left. Function number four is the hood deflector up and down. This allows you to get a long shot if you have high headroom or if you are dealing with lower headroom or short distances, you can curl it down and get right down beside the machine. This also allows you to spread out bedding on a pack if you want to spread it out in a deeper pack scenario. For best results, it works better to push the bale against the wall. We then back up and roll back the bale and close the end gate. smoother startup, we tip the machine forward so that when we cut the strings that we don't get pressure against the end gate or the augers for smoother startup. We now cut the strings. Now with the strings off it is important that we have a space between the beaters and the bale to allow the augers to start up without being jammed. If we roll the machine back too hard and the bale expands when the strings are cut, it jams into the augers and keeps you from starting them up. Always remember hydraulics is not PDO torque. You need to allow them to start without load. If in the event that you do jam the augers for startup, tilt your machine forward towards the end gate and possibly shake to create the bale to slide back. And then it allows you to start your beaters. So we are now fully loaded and the strings cut and we are at a feedlot here where we are gonna do a live stream of the machine in action and spread off the bale that we just loaded. So stay with us and watch the performance. We are now ready to start spreading the bale. First we start the auxiliary. We hear the fan is moving. We give it some throttle. Move the hood in the direction we want to spread. Adjust the deflector for desired spreading distance. And then 
we give it some throttle and start the augers. To ensure that the tub is completely empty, we reverse the beaters and no more product is coming from the chute, so we are now ready to load the next bale. One last maintenance feature that I would like to address before we conclude this film is the chain tension. We open this cap, set it aside, and inside there's an idler to adjust your chain tension that drives your auger set. If by any reason you hear a rattling sound that does not sound normal, you will need to address the chain tension. The tensioner is located right inside this hole and it also gives you access to oil your chain frequently. That concludes our film for today.